There we go. So, hello everybody. Hello everyone. We are so sorry for delay. So thank you for waiting. Thank you for um, be here. And I see that everyone is already here and writing comments. So I'll do like really quick. Welcome everyone. Thank you so much. Today is Rachel and me here in the next life of Tampuria. As you can see, I am not in my working space. I am in my living room. That means I am uh, the director today. I am the hosting. I am in the room. So, um, um, yes. yes, we will let uh, Rachel uh, create Rachel today. Create so, Rachel, hello. Rachel, hello. How are you? Hello. 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 Oh, so, what it's, are you it's going it's to do for us today? Oh, there's an echo. That's nice, isn't it? Let's get rid of that. Oh no, no I, I can't, can't hear you as I do that. that. That's silly. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'll try maybe to say something. Like yes, I think it's better now. Right. Oh. oh, we have a bit of echo still. That should do it. I think. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's just show us what you have some uh, what you have for us today. Um, I'm, I'm going to do this bad way. way. Actually, I'm going to get out of that one, and I'm going to just yes. come over here because this is this is the good stuff. This is the interesting stuff. Yes, I'm going to do this um, this piece here that I've done um, with the raven. Um, and I've also mm -hmm. given him some extra wings and a little extra bit at the top. Um, what do you call it? Propeller, that's the word. So, mm -hmm. yes, so I'm going to crack on. Shall I crack on? Shall I do that? Nice, yeah. Right. Oh, hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, so I see there are so many comments already. So yes. uh, for those who just came across, for, I'm so sorry, or we are so sorry for the delay. But anyway, we are here and this is what matters. So um, Rachel, just go on. I will let you talk. So show us what we need for this project. And, I will um, sorry, I'm just yes. having issues. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of issues today. Right. Um, so I start off with the molds that I've used. Now I've used the the raven and this little coggy thing from this one. And this Beautiful. is K3 PTA4538. And this, I just love this raven. I really do. I think he's absolutely fabulous. And these wings as well are rather fabulous because, of course, you don't need to, you know, you can do the balloon or you can not do the balloon. I've actually, I really like playing about with moulds and cutting bits off them and, and messing about with them. So I've got that mould. And then from this mould, I've used the, um, it's like a little aeroplane thing. Give me Bob, what's it? Let me get, I'm trying to see my, oh, I'm lighting out while I'm talking to you because I don't want to blind myself, but I want you guys to be able to see. That should be a bit better. There we go. Stay up there and behave yourself. That's a bit better. Yes, yeah, so I've used this um, aeroplane jobby out of here, which I can show you in my box of prep. So... I cast that mould and you see that goes on there. Um, I didn't worry about the bottom because I knew I didn't really want that. And then I just cut that piece off and that's what I'm going to use for the raven's extra bits. So I just use that bit there. And then for my background piece, which is this piece, um, although there are several background pieces, but um, I've just used some um, some clay in, I use this one, which is 
case three PTA five six two four. Um, but you could equally use this one, which is K3 PTA 5623. So you could either one of those would work. And aren't they fantastic, these ones? I really love them. But um, those are the moulds that I used. And then I've used... Um, Oh, my hair's falling out. Um, I've used some of the Sir Vagabond Aviator paper um, because it's lovely. And I've used some of the grey board pieces. Now, I think these grey boards are from the Lady um, Vagabond. Uh, Rachel, may I interrupt you just for one second? Because yeah. here we have... Um, some comments like uh, people saying that we have technical issues. Yes, for those who just came in, uh, we entered our studio a little bit later. So I'm so sorry for the delay. But now we are here and you can enjoy us on YouTube and on Facebook. So Rachel and me, we have just started. So you have, have missed anything. So Rachel, sorry for, for, the, for disturbing you. <laughs> That's all right. No, it's all good. Um, yes, so the grey boards, I think, are from the Lady Vagabond collection, the ones that I use. And they are KLS for Sierra, P for Papa, DA448. And then I've also used some of the clear prints. I don't know what you do. Well, the clear prints is what it's called. I've used some bits from that. And this is S for Sierra, BA417. I have to, I do confirm the S because... I've got a bit of a lisp and some people think I'm saying F instead of S. So that's why I'm confirming. And then I've also used these um, die cuts um, from the new Sir Vagabond collection. And that's DFLDC61. So I think that's my shopping list over and done with. So let's do the good stuff. Ooh. Beautiful grey boards, actually. They're so beautiful. So many details. So I've obviously done a little bit. There we go. And I showed you how I cut mm -hmm. that um, little piece out so that I can then pop my, pop my crow on there for extra wings. But if you look on this one, I actually I actually cut the wings and the propeller separately and then added them together. But there's a slightly different look on this one. And I've already um, painted my grey board. So we're good to go on that. And I've gessoed all my pieces. So mm -hmm. I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on this little piece of wall because I'm going to want to do it in stages and I'm going to want the stages to dry and settle down before I go on to the next one so whenever I've got a piece like that that I know is going to take several layers I'll start on that one before I start on any of the others so I can put it off to to one side Oh, Oma says you're beautiful today. Oh. <laughs> Omar is uh, uh, writing comments uh, and he liked my blouse. Thank you so much. I am in the summer mood today. So everyone is, I think, it's finally summer here in Europe. Oh, it's <laughs> nice, isn't it? So I'm just putting my first layer on, which is just the um, grey, which is KAL73. It is really useful. This is like a wet, uh, wet uh, floor outside there. And también tenemos las chicas de España, de América Latina. Hola a todos, a todas. Lo siento que uh, están un poquito um, late. <laughs> so uh, my Spanish is not that good, but I'm I'm learning it. Hola a uh, um, Cata, uh, Catherine. We have uh, 
Leanne also here. We have Patricia. Hola. Yes, Agdeshka is also here. So we are so many people inside and we welcome everyone to our live. And I'm really curious what Rachel is going to, um, to do and how she's going to do it. So just take a note, everything you can get, just notice it because all the tips and hints we get from Rachel, they are like really worth it. <laughs> oh. Hola, great. Erica. Hola. And of course, don't forget to take your friend uh, or friends uh, to win a pizza box because uh, every time you have a chance to um, to win it. And of course, thank you for all those who also name us uh, in uh, all the comments. And of course, don't forget to invite your friends, your family, everyone who is um, crafting. So, and Kerenza is telling us that she was looking to, uh, forward to watching this live today. So thank you and welcome. So we no. are uh, happy that we are here with you guys today. It's been a while. <laughs> Absolutely. So I'm just checking this. I'm going to just, I'm not even, not even worrying too much about this. Um, I'm not going to paint the grey on the posters, but I am going to put it everywhere else because it's only the first, it's the first mm -hmm. layer. So Beautiful. I'm going to. It put looks so vintage, Rachel. I like it really, really much. Oh, they're really just fabulous. Um, yeah molds aren't Wonderful. they so i'm going to start on this now this is just it's just um a mdf box thingy me job what's it thing this really doesn't have to be anything special hi belinda hi <laughs> um and all i've done is i've black gessoed it and then i've just used um some texture paste and some of the paints to distress it a little bit um so now i've got a piece of paper from the aviator collection which i'm gonna pop in there and i'm using craft glue which is dc 31m and i find it's just it's a really good glue mm. <laughs> yes absolutely totally agree i like this product also really much yeah it's really it's a really good you know it, it does what it says on the tin so let's get a brush that i'm not too bothered about let's stick mm. this in. mr vagabond is getting his uh, yeah uh surface <laughs> wet <laughs> yes i'm tickling his mustache <laughs> <laughs> yes, massage, exactly. Oh, I would like to change with him positions. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to have a massage as well. <laughs> yes. yes, and of course, the ladies, don't forget to like and share this video. Uh, mm -hmm. Because as I told you before, it's really nice to see new projects, to see new ideas, to get inspired by artists. So uh, Rachel is going to share a wonderful project with us today. So be careful um, and just see what she's doing for us. And today I won't be creating anything. So I'm just here for you guys to um, read your comments, to, uh, th uh, to put the questions from you to Rachel. So if you have any questions, just write us a comment and I will try to um, read it out for Rachel. Okay, so I'm just, I haven't cut my... Um whatever this is called again i can't remember what it's called clear cuts is it okay i'm terrible at remembering them clear prints clear prints um, exactly. so i've just i've cut a small piece because i don't need to it's so nice i don't want to use it all to cover the background because you won't actually see all of it so i've um i've only cut a small piece because that's all that's going to need to be you know that's that's a small piece in there so and then I'm using to lift it um, my favorite favorite thing to lift anything, which is just absolutely. Hard. And this is also a good way to reuse uh, the boxes from the pizza box. So guys, absolutely. in case you want the pizza box and throw it away, so you can use it for this uh, technique over here that Rachel is showing us. Absolutely, and I'm going to probably put another. Oops, one, one. I don't want water. I want glue. 
There we go. I'm just popping just a couple of layers of cardboard there to raise it up. And I'm not worried about them being there because I know that they're going to be covered up by everything else that's going in there. So there we go, a bit of glue. Perfect. And I'm going to stick that. Oh, Catherine is saying that she's waiting for Belinda for her class in Dallas. Yes, it would be so amazing. So unfortunately, I can't be there, but um, it's nice to see how the event uh, is going to be like. So we are patiently waiting. I would love to go to that event. I think it's going to be amazing. There we go. Yes. So that's in there as well. And also beautiful projects. And of course, we're curious because in, uh, from next week on, we will have new releases from new collections of Stamperia. So the first one is going to be by Dorota. So I am in a design team of Dorota. So I'm really curious what is expecting us. I don't have any clues what Dorota has uh, prepared for us. So let's wait for the next week. Oh, it's going to be wonderful. Yes, for sure. So let's we are patiently waiting for the next live <laughs> with the new collection. Oh, Marion, good done. Like and share is what we need. This is really cool. So people mm -hmm. are just sharing love and we are currently discussing or talking about the uh, event in Dallas. So everyone is excited about meeting teachers over there. So um, yes, Belinda can also wait to see new designs of the Rota. <laughs> what I will be making. Yes, I'm also curious. So I think next week we will knew more. And Agnieszka, she is also uh, in design team of the Rota. So she's like my, um, in my team, my colleague. Yes, we can't wait. Isn't it, Agnieszka? We can't wait. Yes, and Laura is saying that your, bro uh, uh, your project is really beautiful. Rachel? Oh, thank you so much. Thank yes. you. And as always, I like the match of your colors. For me, it's always like a, a, it's a pleasing eyes to see your colors, you know? Yeah. <laughs> the gray, the turquoise, I like it really much, Rachel. Yeah, I do. I think about the colors and I, I'm, you know, I like them to. Yes, I'm colorful for yeah. today because I cannot craft. So I decided to wear like a colorful blouse. So I kind of uh, create right now. <laughs> You are, you are, you are creating art. Yes, I'm be creating atmosphere with my flowers or my blouse. <laughs> absolutely, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, so there are so many people taking uh, friends for pizza box. Thank you so much for that. And I am also curious who is going to be the next winner. So I think it will be uh, announced next week. Oh, fantastic. Yes, so and for those who just came uh, later into the um, live, no problem at all. It's going to be recorded so you can watch it or rewatch it anytime you like. So after this live, um, you, it, uh, the video will be safe so you can watch it on Facebook, on YouTube, everywhere. Hello to Anita. She's from Queensland, Australia. Oh, hello, lovely. hello. So it's like middle in the night over there, I think. Don't mm. be sorry for, for delay because we started also, also like 15 minutes later, but we are here and thank you to be here with us today. So yes. I'm just using some turquoise now on these um, wings. And again, this is just the first coat. Um, so I'm really... It's, I get a lot of comments about my model painting, model painting, cast painting, whatever you want to call it. And this is C K A L 25. Um, and really and truly, the trick is not to get too worried about it. I mean, for my first layers on everything, I'm mm. slapping my paint on. Um, and I'm just getting that first layer on and I'm really not worrying about anything i've got a little bit on the edge there i'm not worried about it it's fine it doesn't matter it's the first layer so that is done there so i've got some turquoise and some white because when this is dry i'm going to come back in and do another coat 
and then we'll start um, adding a little bit of shading on that. So let's go back now because I think this will probably be mm. quite dry. And I'm going to add a little bit of green to this now. And Beautiful. Yeah, I mean, you on there, you probably can't even see it. But yeah, it's a wonderful match. Just one of the... Oh, do you know what I've done? I've put more turquoise in. I thought it was green. How silly am I? Where's my green gone? It's hiding. Don't hide. I need you. There you are. Right, I've got my green. And I'll tell you the code for this one now. This is leaf green and it's KAL46. So, and I'm just taking a little bit. I've probably got far more than I need in there. Um, and I'm just going to dab bits of this around on this background. I'm not getting hung up on making sure it's in a particular place i'm just putting little bits all over yes and we also have um more viewers here we have elisabetta falcini who's saying ciao to us ciao amore and we have um uh, Celia diaz hola familia hola a tu también so everyone who just came across welcome and thank you for watching us today we have rachel as an artist She's working with her Vegabond Aviation Collection, and we're curious how the project is going to be in the end. So we are watching, we are learning, and don't forget to like and share this video. Don't forget to nominate your friends for the pizza box and just enjoy this wonderful life. Right, there you go. Just take oh, a second. Have, Rachel, just one more. We have a question from Caroline. She asks about, uh, she wants to know something about the soft clay. I keep it in yeah. the packaging and put it in a well sealed box. However, it's not quite as smooth now. What can I do now? Has anyone an idea? Um, I think, you know, I mean, you can use it for more textural pieces and to add texture to, to everything, you know, like canvases and things like that, you can use it to add texture to. Um, and what I usually do, I put the soft clay straight away into a plastic pocket and yeah. I totally close it. So maybe you should try it uh, to put in the plastic box, uh, in the plastic um, uh, bag first and then into the uh, uh, well sealed box. So maybe this is the reason because the sealed box, there's still like maybe a little bit of small um, holes where the air can come in. So maybe you can try something with plastic because if I use plastic uh, bag, everything is fine so you can try and write us next time it was useful for you so hello everyone hello there's so many people watching us it's so nice I, oh we have also one hint from belinda caroline you can try spray it uh with a little a bit of water and mix it in so you see the professional is at work she knows how to solve this problem very good so i will notice it in my mind as well thank you belinda for helping us and i hope caroline that we uh, could help you and uh, support you with your um questions so just try and let us know if it works so yeah and uh, sorry, uh, which color do you use now, Rachel? I'm now using cookie. Oh, which my is... favorite one. Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> what a question. This is one of my favorite. Every time when we're doing life together, Rachel and me, she uses so beautiful colors. And I always ask her, okay, what color is it? What color is it? <laughs> no, it's generally every project that I do has turquoise and cookie in it. <laughs> Because I love them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you know, it's never enough with the colors. You have like a, a couple of them, but still not enough. And you're looking for some new shades or you try to mix it by yourself. So yeah. it's always um, an ad adventure when playing with um, acrylic paints. Definitely. But the, the Allegro paints are just so good. I mean, the, the chemist who puts these paints together does an incredible job. Yeah, this is your meditation right now. 
um, uh, painting the soft molds. <laughs> It is. I love it. I do, and I do normally for lives. I do paint them before the lives, but I get mm -hmm. quite a few people ask me to mm -hmm. show how I do it. So hopefully, you can yes. see. Hopefully. Just I don't have this amount of patience like you do. I must confess, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> it's honestly not that. It's not that difficult, honestly. It's just practice, I think. That's yes, of course, yeah. You just need to yeah. practice because uh, when I uh, do uh, paint the molds, it feels like my son is painting because <laughs> I go over the edges every time. I, I cannot mm -hmm. just stay like really thin. So I need to improve this uh, type of skill. Well, you just do more layers. Just keep doing layers. It does, you know, if you go over the edges on the first layer, it's fine. Go, go have another layer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. That's, I mean, that's the beauty of mixed media is that you just add another layer. Oh, guys, we already have a feedback from Caroline regarding the issue with the soft clay. She obviously tried and it works and she is crafting. So that means everyone uh, notice uh, to wet, uh, to make your soft clay a little bit wet in case it gets, it gets a little bit um, um, uh, not, not flexible. So just a drop of water will help. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes, and Agnieszka, she also shares your, uh, uh, your interest with molding paints. Uh, uh, <laughs> with paint the mold, sorry. <laughs> Yes, she also likes to paint the mold with every single detail. Uh, for example, Alice mold. Yes, so I also work uh, work a lot with Alice collection, and those molds are very um, a lot with a lot of pattern, a lot of texture. And yes, you need to be like really uh, passionate about this. So good. Oh, job. No. good yeah, job. I've really enjoyed painting the Alice molds. And Irina Bryan, she also saying that she loves painting and dry brushing. Yes, I also do love uh, dry brushing like really much and I use it in every project. And she finds it really satisfying when the pieces comes to life. Exactly. Yeah. This is very like, beautiful to see. So you're working on something, you put so much effort in it, you play with the colors, with the paints, yeah? And in the end, you have a very wonderful result. Absolutely. That, this um, is, that's wonderful you know the the thing is antiquing paste or um mm. the new patinas they yes they I have all, yes i have also tried the new patinas from stampria they're just amazing so guys i don't know what about you but my favorite is definitely white and rust so guys if you have uh, tried this uh, patina Leave us a comment to know how you like it, because for me it was just amazing. And again, if you're not happy, if you've done some painting that you're not quite happy with, it's really yeah. good to go over with some of that then, and it it will sort of unify mm -hmm. what you've done and make it look exactly a lot nicer. And we have also Anita here in the conversation. She finds it really relaxing. Of course, so when I do dry brushing, for example, I also feel relaxed. So you just go with the flow and everything uh, uh, takes uh, like um, uh, the shape and it looks really beautiful. Mm. Hi, Mila. We, are, we have Mila Korea here. Hello Hi. and welcome. Nice to you to join us here. Yes, so painting uh, is really a relaxing um, adventure, I would say. Definitely. So it's sometimes I'll just take the paints from Stampria and I take my um, my journal and I just go I go with the flow and the paint something without any um, mixed media products, just the paint and the paper. And sometimes it helps uh, like to calm down, to relax after a, a hard day. So really wonderful. Well, the paints work well on all surfaces, don't they? They are really good. 
Definitely, yes. Good. And you can reach so many different colors um, with only basic paints, yeah. So you can just play mm -hmm. around, and when you have nothing to do, just go in your room, grab your paints and and a piece of uh, paper, and just go with the flow. Uh, we have Helen. Uh, she's saying that she loves to use clay. She finds mm -hmm. that this is relaxing. Yes, why not? This is also nice. So I'm playing usually with my clay in the evening. So I do my mold production. I call this uh, like this. My mold production always in the evening. So I sit in my workspace. I have like the whole table fully with molds and um, put the clay inside and like pushing. <laughs> this is my evening meditation sometimes. <laughs> no, so enjoyable. Do you prefer clay to resin, Yuli, or do you like I both? like clay, yes. I like. I also tried resin, mm. uh, but uh, somehow I like the clay. I also like the texture of the clay. So maybe this is what it's, for me, it's like more relaxing, yeah? Mm. But what I like about resin is it is high defi defined shape. So yeah. it also depends on the project that uh, I'm doing. If I need like a high definition, I use resin, yeah? Yeah. And uh, or, or um, uh, cement, or if I need something like not really high defined, so I use the soft clay. Oh, we have Sara Alejandra. Hola, chica. ¿Qué tal? Espero que estás muy bien. So we have Sara here. Wonderful. And also we have Janet. From Netherlands. Hello and welcome. Nice to see you here with us. So we have Rachel Crafting today and we are talking about relaxing art um, uh, treatments. <laughs> so art can be really relaxing. Definitely. And of course don't forget that we have pizza boxes to give to share. Ah, uh, so you can still nominate your friend, your family, however, your partner who is uh, in love with crafting and you will immediately get a pizza box if you win. Oh, it's a shame we can't give them to everybody, isn't it, really? Oh, I like the small so much. It looks really, really beautiful. Oh, it really is. It's really, really gorgeous. Now, I'll give you a probably won't have time to do it today, but with this clock and also with the eye, I've added um, glossy gel so that it's shiny. You can see, mm -hmm. you can see on his eye there, probably, hopefully, that is oh, shiny. wonderful. Mila is also saying that the bird is beautiful. She loves your bird as well, as much as I do. <laughs> wow, it's just a brilliant character. And it was the first thing I saw for molds. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Mm -hmm. I like it also really much. And also the whole composition. Uh, it, everything is so fluent, everything is in place and all in the match of the colors. I like it really, really much. So when it, everything comes together, all the details, it will look really gorgeous. Oh, thank you. So again, now I, I don't do, I never do one layer of paint. I'm going to do a second layer. And then the second layer is where I'm a little bit more careful. Mm. And more mindful of edges and things like that. Susie is also saying that she likes the set of molds. Yeah, definitely. I like it also really much. It's like really steampunky and vintage, mystical, magical, I would say. <laughs> Wonderful. A bit of everything going on in them, isn't there? And we have Cindy here. She also saying yeah. that's open. 
nice and say hi. Hello, Hello. Hello. Buongiorno. Oh, and then now we have a comment in Spanish, so I will try to read it out and to understand. <laughs> Maybe someone. Uh, no, uh, it, we need Blanche right now. <laughs> we <laughs> have we have Maria Pilar. She's saying, uh, Rachel, lo que más uh, admiro de ti es lo genialmente. Ah, yeah. She's saying that everything that you do, I think, is uh, is just genius. No. Oh, my Spanish. Lo siento, Maria, pero yo no hablo español puro, pero uh, solo un poquito. <laughs> and I try to learn Spanish, so I have already buy, bought some books for Spanish, so I'm on my way to it. <laughs> so, but I think that um, she likes your projects and she just admire everything about what you do. <laughs> No, I hope so. I hope so. Or well, something like that, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and Agnieszka is also saying that she likes uh, likes the Ravens. Yes, this is nice. I also like them very I'm much. Nice. Yeah, and of course, I'm people nice. don't forget to tag, to like, to share this video, and we're looking forward to meet new friends at Sampuria, and. Um, Yes, so you can take everyone, your friends, your partner, your colleague, your family. Everyone is welcome in the Stamperia family. <laughs> yes, Julia, habías bastante bien. Oh, muy uh, uh, gracias. <laughs> I spent my holidays in Spain, actually. It was two weeks ago. And uh, I've learned Spanish in school, but I forgot everything about Spanish. And now when I was in Spain, I felt so inspired. To this language again so i decided to learn it one more so uh, i kind of remind myself of some basics but i don't know like everything about spanish so i need to improve my uh, spanish knowledge the words the verbs everything yeah good the grammar so i have my books over there and i have started learning spanish again <laughs> so maybe in one year i can do <laughs> the some real life uh, uh, com uh, com complete in spanish i hope so <laughs> Oh, we have a translation from Catherine. Muchas gracias. She said that love the way that she paints special little details. Ah, now we got it. Thank you so much. So, Rachel, mm -hmm. she likes the, uh, how you, the way how you paint your um, uh, your mold, especially the little details. No, Thank you so much for translating this. And I feel so embarrassed right now. <laughs> That's very kind. Yes, and Caroline, she says us that she was shopping this day and she bought mm -hmm. some molds by Stampuria and now she uses soft clay with new molds. Oh, this is really nice. I can completely feel good to you. So when I have my new molds, I straight go and do them and with the soft clay. So enjoy the process and enjoy the result. Mm, absolutely. It's just, yes. it's just very enjoyable. I mean... I think the trick probably is to take your time as well and just enjoy it and yes you know don't rush like we do <laughs> we have a comment from Marta Garcia Yuli I would like to speak English as well as you speak Spanish good job oh thank you muchas gracias Marta <laughs> I try I try I try and it is like really inspiring that they are that in the uh, Sampria family there are so many Spanish speakers and it gives you like a motivation to uh, keep on learning Spanish because I, yo quiero la lingua. Uh, eh, I hope that I can speak it like fluent one day. <laughs> nice. So oh. I'll come back for another layer on this wing. Is it the same color you use for the second layer? Right yeah, I'm using the same oh, okay. color, and then while it's wet. I'm going to take some white mm -hmm. and I'm just blending that, blending that in. Oh, beautiful effect. Yeah. Yeah. So it gives you like dimension. Yeah. Yeah. So beautiful. again, getting some more of the turquoise to blend that white in. 
and it just gives a bit of dimension, a bit of movement to to what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. so, go, go, go with this. Beautiful. There we go. If I get it up on the edges like I have there, I'm not worried about it because I can tidy it up afterwards. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, so the second layer can improve many things. It gives you like a real dimension. Mm, definitely. Definitely just adds. Go. Oh, we no. have one more comment from Katrin. We practice here every day all the languages. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, so Sampuria is not uh, only a good art school, yeah, but it's also a good language school, yeah. So you can yeah. improve all the knowledge here. <laughs> it really is. It really is. Okay. Oh, we have one more comment in Spanish. Hermoso trabajo. Oh, ese, ese es lo, lo yo comprendo. Uh, as a, she says, a beautiful job. Yeah. Oh, this is really beautiful job. You are totally right. Hello, Letizia. Welcome. She's from Italy. So, buongiorno. Buongiorno. And then let's not tender us problems. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Blanche, we were missing you with your translation. <laughs> so we have, um, yes, uh, she's saying that art has uh, no questions, uh, no language, sorry, art has no languages. That's no. true because art is a language uh, itself. It doesn't require you any words. It doesn't require you any actions. Just do go with the flow. Take beautiful project uh, products, and everything is just fine. I like it, and I like the way how you give the dimension to this project, to this to, to those wings. You know, looks really yeah. beautiful. Yes, really nice. So we have more comments over here. Anthony is here. He's saying thank you, probably for welcoming him. <laughs> So, yes, so we have some more people who are nominating their friends for Pizza Box. Very good. And thank you for that. Don't forget to like and share. And we have one more from Caroline. When I get a new mold, you can stop me. I must try it. Oh, yeah, I can feel you. For me, the same. Mm -hmm. When I receive my package, it's like, oh, it's, no, everything, I leave everything behind. I take my scissors and I just unpack everything and I go on working with the molds. And guys, next week, we will have a new release with new collections as well. So we are curious. We are waiting for the new collections to come. No, oh, we are. Yes, so I'm really, really oh. excited. <laughs> my uh, designer, so I'm in team of Dorota, so I can't wait, I can't wait. I think it will be something romantic because Dorota is about romantic, so I, I really love her style. So let's see what is awaiting us. But as long as we are waiting, don't forget to like and share. To put on Corazon. Oh, dos corazones, corazones. So, and are you going to apply a third layer as well, or is it like uh, finished with the second one? Um, I'm going to see now because the third layer is going to be more about the darker shading, really, than the the lighter shading. So there will be another layer going on, but it'll be, it won't be a full layer if that makes sense yeah this is good well we have one more um spanish comment for me to improve so let's start maria mm -hmm. lo siento uh, si no comprendo <laughs> no sé si llegaré a ser una buena scrapera uh, pero voy a terminar hablando inglés e italiano seguro uh, if i understood you right Please, please, my Spanish uh, girls, please help me translating. If I understand everything right, she, um, she, she, if I, uh, in case she doesn't come, she will be um, finish speaking English. 
Oh, okay. When she comes there, she will be ready to speak English and Italian. I think this is <laughs> the comment. I'm so sorry. Okay. And we have a comment from Danka. She's saying art has the language of soul. Oh, yeah. This is beautifully said. Mm -hmm. That's why we always understand it, no matter the language. This is really good one. I totally understand. I totally agree with you, Danka. Very beautiful said. Yes. <laughs> and Katrina, I think it was regarding the molds that she feels a little uh, uh, addiction. So she always wants more. I think it refers to molds. Of no. course, yes. completely. We all love the molds. I understand. <laughs> yes. I, I have so know. many of them already, and I still don't have I, I don't have place, but I still get some and get some and I order and I order. I don't have enough. <laughs> yeah. I haven't got them all, so I haven't got enough. So. <laughs> oh wow, we have someone from Singapore over here. Hello, Susanna. Welcome. Oh, hi. Welcome. Welcome. And Anthony says that he loves Sir Vagabond collection. He had to get some of the paper pads when he saw it. Had this uh, Statue of Liberty. Oh yes, I also like this um, uh, uh, this page, but also I like the the lady with the hair, open hair, hair in the wind. Oh, it's so romantic. <laughs> this is nice. So I'm painting these signs, and as you can see, I am. Um... As I always say, I'm slapping the paint on. I'm not being fussy because once this is, layer is dried, I'm going to go in and mm -hmm. do the rest. So I'm just, you know, you need to get your first layer on before you can start adding detail. So I'm just getting in those gaps. Mm -hmm. um, it Thank looks amazing you. yeah already i like this gray do you think i see it look i'm this is all going to be covered up and it i think it looks awful mm. but um but i'm caught i you know i know what's going to happen so i'm i'm okay about it <laughs> <laughs> anyway it looks already now really beautiful for me Oh. Nice. i also like the grays like you can see this is my living room guys everything is white and gray oh. so <laughs> i have like an obsession for uh, uh gray uh, colors so this is why i feel so uh so tempted to this color it's lovely it's very peaceful we have uh, one comment from Maria. You have read my comment in perfect Spanish. Oh, thank you so no. much, Maria. <laughs> I try. <laughs> this is so nice. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> it gives me like inspiration to improve it even more. <laughs> and we have a comment from Anthony. He's saying that he, uh, you, Rachel, are such a fabulous painter and your detailed work is amazing. So also mm. here, I put my signature on it totally agree because i really like also how she paints her molds as i told before i am not a patient as, as rachel is <laughs> oh well, thank you so much so now i'm gonna focus on these pipes a little bit so i'm just being quite gentle with my brush just to let the let it sort of grab some of the paint on my brush and i'm starting oh, with this is um this is a corn yellow this yellow um i'm gonna put a bit over here but i'm not sure how much of this little area you'll see but mm -hmm. i'm just gonna pop it. so you kind of highlight now all the areas not everything but just a couple of them right um well i'm going to cover this up as well <laughs> oh, okay. oh, I see. So i'm taking oh, some orange and again doing exactly the same thing just because what i want to do what i'm trying to create is a bit of a rusty look on these pipes so i'm just adding the colors that will create that it's really so, absolutely stunning what you're doing. And Cindy is uh, sharing with me the feeling. She is also um, 
uh, she's also like your uh, your project is oh, just really so beautiful. Fine. I like I like the highlighting effect you do now. Really beautiful. Yeah, just adding because these areas are raised, they just pick it up nicely. So. Uh, Rachel, we have one question from Lucy. Could you please show us again which paints do you use for these molds? I can. Lots. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there have been, uh, been uh, many of them, yeah. I've, I've, I've got... Um, there is a list on um, the stampers. Oh, crikey. What's the website called? World, worldwide. Stampers yes, Worldwide. Yes, Stampers Worldwide page. Yes. Uh, on there, I have put a list of everything I've used, but I've used grey, um, I've used green, I've used white, um, I'm going to use some earth, I've used cookie, cookie is my favourite colour, um, and turquoise, which is my other favourite colour, because they are in everything I do just about to use some brick red mm -hmm. and i've got some coral red and i've got some black and i've got some orange and i've got oh, there are many of them yeah <laughs> yellow so there we go that's that's what i've got that's what i'm using um right brick red that's where i was at so i'm just layering mm -hmm. colors now um, that will make a sort of rust effect on these bits of pipe work. So, and I've used the yellow, the orange, mm. the cookie, brick red, and I'm going to use the earth brown as well in a minute. And that will give me a bit of a, a bit of a rusty. Yes, this is really beautiful. So the mold is looking alive right now, like really alive. Yeah, that's it's starting to to sort of bring it to life. Mm -hmm. And Danka is also saying that you have chosen beautiful colors. Yes, oh. I like also the match of those colors. Yes, I I love color. So this is just <laughs> a little bit of earth brown, and in an in an ideal world, I would have let these layers dry in between mm. but because i'm using so little paint i'm not too worried about that today mm. but i you know if i was doing this off camera i would be drying it yes yeah, so it comes to life step by step the bird yeah. now this pipes so we are really uh, curious how the whole composition will come in place, right. how this works okay. and just so to see the result. I'm going to pop that to one side again now to dry for a bit before I put the last layer on that. And then I'm going to put the last layers on these ones now. So I'm going to use, um, I'm going to first of all, I'm going to have a look and see if there are any areas that may need a little bit more of a touch up because I'm going to come over this with my um, my wax and some um, patina. Mm. And we have additionally comment from Anthony. He suggested to use the white patina on it. Yes, it would be also really nice to highlight um, some areas of the mold. That's for sure. This is really a good one. So you can like combine and mix uh, all the products from Sapuria. And as I told you, as I told uh, before, for those who just came across, I also like the new Patina products. Well, my favorites are white and rust. And I like the texture also. It's like water-based uh, Patina. So yes, it would be also a good idea to use it. Okay. I'm not going to. But thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the idea, but I'm not going to because I've I've got my plan and uh, that's what I'm doing. So because <laughs> I'll have to look for the white if I um if I use that. But um, 
no, I'm using the an amber color. Yes, and of course, don't forget that Rachel has her own Facebook, her own Instagram, where she um, posts her projects. So if you need a source of inspiration, just go yeah. ahead and visit her on her social media. And of course, if you want some romantic inspiration, so because I like like more vintage romantic um, uh, projects, you can also join me. I'm Yuli Art, like over here you can see. <laughs> Yeah, so today I'm watching and I'm learning from Rachel because it's always nice to uh, sit next to the colleague and see what she or, or he is doing. So we like learn from each other and get inspiration. Oh, I see what Rachel is doing. This is beautiful. So you're uh, 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 using uh, wax, uh, wax, right? Yeah, yeah. Just it's gold, it. right? Yeah, it's gold wax. Beautiful. No. Um, also really nice this is also one of my favorite products from Stamperia those waxes yeah, I, I uh, use literally everywhere also <laughs> no, it, just, it just works doesn't it it just works so it's um, beautiful yeah there we go so I've got his wings yeah now alive Yes. So the so whole composition good. starts to get like real. Um, I'm going to do similar process now with him. I'm going to take mm -hmm. some of the umber colored patina and I'm just putting it on his cloak. Very watered down. Mm -hmm. And I will Beautiful. wipe it off in a minute. Oh, we have La Luvia de Corazones from Maria. Muchas gracias. Corazones por todos. Uh, uh, hearts for everyone. Love for everyone. So no. thank you. Thank Muchas you. gracias por los corazones. Muy bien. We have 50 a.m. in the house. Hello. I'm just wiping that patina back because I don't want it to be too strong yay we have one more corazones from silvia mura costa <laughs> no my fingers are here crafty i am today i am uh, directing the live i'm watching and learning from rachel and rachel is sharing her wonderful project with us using the sir vagabond aviation collection so um, my fingers are not dirty today. I am totally tidy today. So yeah, so I, I allowed myself to uh, put the wonderful blouse, blouse on so I know that I won't get dirty. <laughs> oh, we have uh, a lot of corazones. Muchas gracias a todos por los corazones. Maria, esta una idea uh, um, uh, mani um, uh, divino <laughs> sorry it was a great idea with the corazones right so we got ah, yes no hay nadie mejor que tu poniendo corazones si sí. absolutamente he's all good so he's now going to be able to sit on top of there like it's so like he, it looks like he has additional wings to fly so even uh, even he uh, is flying and feels satisfied with all the hearts that's it and i'm just popping some wax on that, that i mean that little cog is amazing that's and that um there's so many different sort of layers within the mold it's really good really good one well done some period right so i'm back to this one again now we're nearly there and we can nearly stick it all together so oh we're not doing too badly actually because we did start late didn't we so we have a, a comment from crafty m she uh, everyone saw the advertisement that there will be a new designer for some Puria. Um, yes. who will be announced with Antonis and uh, <laughs> she and her friend Roberta they told uh, thought that it will be me but guys I must confess unfortunately not 
<laughs> this is not going to be, be me. But I'm really curious who new, who new designer is. So we are mm. patiently waiting for new collections to appear in life. So we will be curious and we'll stay curious. But thank you so much. Thank you so, so much for your, uh, for your kind words. It would be cool. But anyway, we are here. We are in the family. And I'm looking forward to Rota's new collection. Uh, and of course, for the other collections. So we are patiently waiting. So, and Erika also likes Abria molds. She modifies them and mix them to her liking. Of course, this is no better uh, idea to do it the way you wanted to do. Absolutely. That's half the fun of it. Yes. So, I'm just adding white now to the details. And because they, they're raised, all I've got to do is go gently. Yes, it seems like uh, uh, Roberta and Crafty M thought really it were my fingers on the screen of uh, uh, Antonis' <laughs> um, uh, title, but no, here are my fingers. No, unfortunately not. No. No, I'm not lying at all, Crafty I am. I'm seriously. <laughs> or maybe I am a new designer, but I'm not aware of it. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> but no one asked me to do that, so I think it's not going to be me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is nice. <laughs> and Agnieszka can't wait. She's not patient at all. Yes, actually, yes. But you know, it's uh, on 7th uh, of uh, June. It will start. So it's still like three days left. Uh, so we will see. <laughs> oh, this is so beautiful. So we, um, and shoulders too. <laughs> guys you're killing me <laughs> this is so funny well we will see next week but i'm not aware of it that i'm going to be new designer <laughs> so any pizza box today of course we have aj rodriguez you can um uh tag your friends your family member everyone uh here in this comments and next week there will be um uh, published a new pizza box winners so you have still the time to vote uh, not to vote sorry for to place a comment and to take your friends and then you have chance to also to win a pizza box so may your friends take you as well <laughs> so <laughs> oh really <laughs> we have also uh caroline she thought also that i will be a new designer no girls unfortunately not so I'm also curious uh, who is going to be the new uh, designer because all the collections are getting better, better and better. Like every time with new release, the collection just mind blowing. And I can't wait who is the new designer and which collection she or he has in mind. But obviously it's, it will be a woman uh, because I also saw like female hands and a female um, uh, body. So let's see then. Yes, so we have also Leti Mar. Hola, familia. Saludos desde Tenerife. Oh, I love Tenerife. Yo quiero Tenerife. Hola, Leti. Y bienvenido. En este live con Rachel y mi. Y yo, y yo, sorry, y yo. I guess for delicate long fingers, fair skin, sharp rose, <laughs> this pink. <laughs> oh, we will we will see it next week. I'm really really curious, curious, curious. Very skinny woman. Yes, yeah, seems so. And uh, Rachel, um, Crafty I am is saying that she's loving the paint work you do. Absolutely. Thank you. I also adore it really, really much. So we have here already a high discussion about who is going to be the new designer. So it already has started. Everyone can't wait to see her face, her um, uh, project. So yeah, we will see it next week. Hi, Judith. Hi, welcome. Yes, so, 
And we have also a comment from uh, Roberta. She's saying that Rachel is so precise with coloring. Absolutely. No. High definition, high dimension. Wonderful. All right. So I'm just making sure that's dry. And then. Ah, yeah, you're spraying like water or is it uh, water, right? Yeah, just water. And then I'm using the patina over the top and I'm just covering ah, beautiful. everything. Beautiful, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so um, there's still comments going. So I think the announce of the new designer is like the last live. Yeah, so we have on um, Tuesday the new collection of Dorota. Then we have Sara Alcobendas, right? Then yes. we will have, um, who was the third one? I forgot. Oh, let me check quickly. So I have here like a reminder. <laughs> so who was the third one? I totally forgot who it was. Let me check it quick. And the fourth one was the new designer plus um, Antonis, but he's not, at, um, he uh, doesn't release a new um, collection. Yeah, so we have uh, on 4th of, uh, of 7th of June, we have Dorota. Then we have uh, on 9th June, Sara Alcobendas. Then we have on 15th June, uh, the new collection, the romantic collection of Monica Paruto. Of course, Monica we have. And on the um, 16th, oh yeah, it's still far, far away to go, two weeks, yeah. <laughs> and on the 16th of June, we have a new designer and new collection. So, okay, there's still like two weeks to wait. <laughs> Mm. All right, so now we have the schedule. Uh, so now we know. Yes, Anthony is I, really is he also um, re uh, revealing a new collection? I thought that he just um, um, uh, introduces new designer, but let's see then. Okay. So now I'm going to stick everything together. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. So this is still a little bit wet, but that's fine. It'll be fine. And I'm going to use craft glue again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the craft glue is really perfect for this type of uh, project. Yeah, it's just it just holds most things. It's just when I first saw it, I just thought, mm, will it will mm -hmm. it really hold? But it does. So I'm just sticking some glue yeah. on there. Whoops, we don't need a dribble. Mm -hmm. It sticks really well with this mixed media glue. You can stick everything with this uh, type of glue. And then I'm just making a little, um, I don't know what you'd call it, a little, I don't know, support. That's what I'd call it. I'm making a little support to go underneath here with some cardboard. So we have a question from AJ Rodriguez. Well, we are uh, still in the discussion about the new designer and uh, on the <laughs> there will be, uh, <laughs> there will be um, Antonis with a new designer and AJ Rodriguez is asking if he's uh, releasing a new collection. I think that no, but I'm, I must be wrong, of course, but I think that he is going to host a new designer because he has just released his new collection, The Aviation. By the way, Rachel is working uh, with this collection right mm. now. But I think that he will be like hosting and introducing the new designer on that date. Oh, we have a comment from Marta Garcia. Un trabajo espectacular. So your work is just uh, spectacular. Wonderful. Oh, thank you. So. Thank you very much. I'm just... Samantha Jane is in the house as well. A bit late, but it's not a problem at all. You don't need to be um, sorry. So in case you have missed something, all the, uh, whole, the, the whole live is recorded. 
So after we have finished the live, it will be available on Facebook and on YouTube. So you haven't missed anything. Don't worry. Um, Crafty IM is, um, has a question to you, Rachel. Okay. Where did the box came from that you're yeah. using as a base? Um, the box I'm using as a base is just, it's just one I had. It's, it's something that was used for something else. It's just a bit of recycling. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. so I'm afraid I can't give you any. It's just a box that was for something else that I thought, <laughs> I know what I can do with that. Is it so, a wooden one or is it like cardboard? Um, it's like wood. Uh, the box itself, is it uh, wood or is it cardboard? It's like wood. Ah, wood. Okay. Thank you. It's like wood, but you could do this with wood or cardboard or anything you wanted to do it with. Mm, wonderful. Thank you. Let's stick that there. And then I'm just going to add some of these dyes. Uh, yes, yeah, so Crafty M, she is also asking, so you didn't use a stencil in there for the, um, no, it, it was a, a mold that um, Rachel was using. And in the background, it is the um, acet acetate paper, so the um, clear prints, yeah. So we have uh, no stencil here. We only have gray boards. We have molds, we, uh, which are perfectly painted. This is why it looks like um, uh, it's a stencil work, but no, this is a mold. Yeah, so now we uh, we bring all the places, uh, all the pieces in place. It looks really interesting here. Just layering it, and I'm just using that craft um, glue mm -hmm. to adhere everything. Beautiful. Mm. Yes, and Crafty IM, she also likes the idea with using a box as a base. Definitely. So you can uh, uh, only by using this box, you can achieve this dimensional um, uh, perspective of a project. So you don't need to put an extra layer, layer, layer. So you don't need to do the layering. You, uh, the box itself gives you this opportunity to do this dimensional um, uh, pro project. Definitely. So this is a good idea. Stay still. Let me, I'm just going to look for some die cuts that seem like they're yes. gonna work um so rachel is using uh normal die cuts from sir vegabond aviation but there are also many beautiful clear die cuts from all the collections cr crossover so um what uh, i also like about clear um, die cuts they are like shining so if you want kind of um a shining surface if you want a shiny project it is really cool to use the clear die cuts because they give this extra effect for your project all right so i am gonna stick these die cuts in place now so Rachel, everyone already likes your project we have a comment from sylvia she finds that uh, your project is just stunning. And we have um, uh, Vivi Rock, she's saying beautiful. Carla says it's amazing. Erica is sending you a lot of flowers, a lot of hearts. Yeah. So uh, everyone likes it. And Giada, I hope I pronounced your na name right, Giada. Uh, she also finds that your project is very, very beautiful. And Samantha has shared your uh, your project, uh, our life. Thank you for sharing this. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Samantha. I'm just I'm just a little tip. I've just noticed I've got a little pip of card there from where it's manufactured. And if you don't like it, which I don't, I'm just sanding it off. So if you get those oh, little good. pips, which to be honest, I don't. I've not noticed them before. But if you do get one, it's no bother just to just to give it a little sand and get it off. And I've just noticed I need a little bit more support 
in under there. So all I'll do, because you can see there's a little bit of sagging down there. So all I need to do is make myself another little support. Uh, Rachel, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we have a question to you from Calypse Art. She's asking, do you use any Sambria products in the end of your realizations to protect the paint like a varnish? Or um, not? Yeah, I do sometimes. I do sometimes, um, but not very often. <laughs> but so there is actually a product uh, of Sampria. Uh, it is a, a water-based varnish. So in case you're working with a crackle paste or any uh, different types of paste or um, acrylic paints, you can put this varnish on top so for example if you're doing like here i can show you the example so i have like here um a vase it is a glass surface and i put like um a crackle paste like here crackle uh, paste on it i have mold and i have a little bit of paint like here patina so um, if you have something that you are always using and holding in your hands you can put a varnish uh, on top so nothing will happen to your paint anymore or to um uh to um the, the pastas and of course we have one more question from samantha she's asking uh are the wigs resin and what color medium did you use rachel hi samantha um yes they are resin and um the color medium um it, it's like a class like a creamy color resin um but it doesn't i i use black gesso and um gesso anything that i'm using before i paint it so i do i use all you know it doesn't matter what color the resin is really because i'll just i'll just gesso it over and then paint so there we go i'm done thank you very much wonderful, wonderful. so everyone really admire your project Oh, Everyone liked you. it, and so it, it was also for me a huge pleasure to be together with you today, Rachel. Thank you so much. And I uh, again, I apologize for a delayed oh, start. Sorry, uh, but, in, sorry, <laughs> but just... anyway, anyway, I'm so happy that we are all together here, that we have found each other, and that we are watching each other. So thank you so much for being here with us and we have so many comments to running Karenza, she likes your project and we have Martha talking about how amazing your project is and um and uh Chantal was wondering if I if you should buy the small and now I know wonderful project yes you see sometimes it needs like <laughs> an inspiration an idea from an artist or from a closer friend who is a crafter just to get inspired and this is why we are here and um yes so Krafiam is wishing everyone a great day and uh, amazing project love so much it's so beautiful calypso art is saying and clapping for rachel yes no. definitely everyone give a clap to uh rachel a lot of corazones a lot of hearts oh, oh yes we you. have them already here wonderful thank you <laughs> don't so much forget to like and share this video and we are uh, looking forward to see you in the next live. And thank you so much for spending the Saturday with us. And um, everyone, have a wonderful weekend. And thank you so much for being here with us. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs>